to a member of the Comoque dancers, but also the uh, Comox First Nation. Uh, we call him Andy Everson, but uh, in a cultural way, uh, a bunch of us uh, have named him um, Gayuk um, Kwayam uh, Tumutlas. And uh, which means that he's an eagle speaking for us. That's how it translates. And so he'll do the official welcome to the territory. Thanks. On behalf of the Puntlach, Aixen, Satlut, Sasitla peoples, we'd like to welcome you here into our traditional unceded territory. I stand beside three of our Eagle Chiefs, our Eagle Hikwetan, representing the Puntlach people, our Eagle Nanakawum, representing the Satlut, and our Eagle um, Katamut, representing the Aixen people. Once again, we would like to thank Music Fest for including us here in this traditional protocol to welcome you all here into our territory. Um, we lift our hands up to the organizers. Uh, we've had a long relationship with them now, and we always look forward to doing this. We'd like to start out by singing a welcome song for you. And the words of the song say that we're so happy that you're here, that we want you to stay. So I hope you enjoy today. Kaila Kasla. so much. We'd like to share a few of our dances uh, with you today. And this next dance is what we call a tlokwatla, uh, ladies dance. And this type of ladies dance is used to help um, bless the ground and hopefully it it's, uh, helps bless it for a successful weekend uh, tonight. Gaila Kasla. Thank <laughs> you. 
Regla Kanzlan. The next dance that we'd like to share with you is a creature that our ancestors have seen since the dawn of time. This creature lives out in the woods and it's known by different names in different languages. The Komoksa people call it Tal. The Kwakwakwak people call it Tsunokwa. Our interior Salish brothers and sisters call it Sasquatch. In English, we like to call it Bigfoot. We say that the Bigfoot is a giant creature that is very sleepy. Sometimes she'll fall asleep standing up. But when she's hungry, she likes to come down from the mountains in search of her favorite food, bad little kids. <laughs> so we tell our kids not to play out in the woods when it starts to get dark because the Zunokwa will come and get them. Once again, as you noticed, when the Zunokwa was dancing, even the Zunokwa had to have a wristband on. <laughs> the next dance we'd like to share with you is what we call a Tlugwala. It's the wolf dance. And this wolf dance, this particular song, comes from the Numgris people, from the Tsitsatwalakame. Um, Namima of the Namgris. And you see the wolves come in with their thumbs up and that represents the claws of the wolves. And they, we call them in by singing a distinctive yee-hee, which is the sound of the wolf.
We got two more dances for you. And this next one is one that came down through marriages from the north. And we call this a tlasala or peace dance. And what I find really interesting about this place that we're performing at is my grandfather in the 1950s built a big house that we call Komokwe, who we named our dance group after, built it in these very grounds. And his box of treasures was trans transferred to him in that very big house. And this song comes with that box of treasures. So uh, we always feel honored to sing it, and especially in, this, in these grounds uh, where my grandfather um, received this very dance. Kaila Kasla. final dance for you today and we call this one the Sapa which translates into the echo and in this particular dance the dancer will transform its mask a number of different times and what we say is the echo reflects what it sees and what it hears and so you'll see some of the things that it transforms into today are things that it's reflecting on that we performed earlier and thank you all for being such a good audience. Okay. Ah, wasn't that wonderful, eh? Yeah. We're just getting ourselves organized. And I want to uh, just to say that that beautiful dance um, uh, spreads eagle down, and eagle down in our culture is a blessing. Uh, the eagle shares its down and uh, allows us to reflect on the softness of life, the agility of life, and and, uh, and the peace and the comforting. It's very healing for us when we use eagle down. Uh, eagles don't necessarily like it, but... Yeah, there's a lot of uh, new definitions around the notions of bald-headed eagles. <laughs> but um, really glad to see you uh, here again this year, and and um, really important for us to acknowledge uh, the territory. 
uh, acknowledge the ancestors and uh, acknowledge the culture. Uh, more than anything, what inspires me is how important that we keep the stories alive uh, and how we pass those stories down to the children and how we pass the songs down to the children and, uh, and how we share with our friends like yourselves uh, the importance of, um, of a cultural connection and cultural survival. Uh, we are still here. And uh, in being here, uh, it's a way of saying, you know, another way of saying that, uh, you know, it's decolonizing work, right? When we do this and we are proud of it, uh, we, are, we are passing it on and uh, we want to share that with you.
Wow, I'd like to uh, thank uh, the Kobukwe Cultural Group and uh, the chiefs that have come to welcome us all here. Uh, and uh, to say that um, how proud we are of them and how they've uh, followed their traditions and, and are willing to share. Uh, I want to offer that last dance, which you call a sapa, the echo, to think a little bit about that in yourself and, uh, and what we might be able to echo to each other this weekend in terms of looking at uh, a sense of community fellowship and uh, and how we uh, can build a, a loving community together and so with that um, let's uh, let's be the echo and and let's sound that off and so come on you can do it <laughs> so thank you very much and again welcome it's a great year I want to thank uh, the Vancouver Island Music Festival uh, for um, their commitment uh, to reconciliation and fostering the relationship with our indigenous communities and, uh, and the peoples. And uh, we've, uh, uh, it really uh, speaks to, uh, to what we've created over the years here and how we want to, uh, to see our, ourselves in the world. And so, Doug, uh, thank you, and thank all the the board and everyone else that uh, that has uh, held this as their vision. Welcome.